For the past year, we have pretty much been playing nothing but Jet. But not only do we do the infamous Super Dash, we've also learned how to play Jet the normal way and climb up the ranks. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything I learned from playing Jet in order to hopefully turn you into a Jet Demon. We all know Jet's abilities, Jet has a smoke, updraft and dash but this guide isn't going to be for the first time jet it's going to be aimed to improve existing jet players but before we jump into the jet guide i'd just like to say thank you for the 7,000 likes on one of my previous videos but honestly don't be this guy as i was really sick and i doubt you wanted a jet tutorial when i sounded like this One common mistake that people associate with Jet is that you need to be top fragging to prove that you're playing well. And honestly, this is just not the case. Yes, Jet has a strong toolkit, but the most valuable asset of any good Jet player is the ability to make space. And this leads me to my first point, and that's creating space. For those who don't know what creating space is, it's simply opening up the map so that your team can either push into sight, take control of areas of the map, or retake sites. And this is what I value as the most important thing to do with Jet. You have to be smart when you're creating space though, and you've got to make sure that you haven't gone too far in so you can't be traded. If you look at the map now, we have pushed all the way behind truck. Although it might be possible to get one kill, if you do die here, your team pushing A short won't be able to trade you since you're out of their line of sight. So always keep that in mind when holding the W key down on Jet. And that's why I like to play around the smokes we have available. The best way to play around using your smokes is using the smoke dash technique. And honestly, this is the best thing to do when using Jet. If done correctly, it leaves your enemies completely unaware of exactly where you are in the smoke, and you can actually leave from various different angles, which will simply distract your enemies whilst your team push simultaneously. Or it can allow you to get the easy opening frag. And here's why the smoke dash combo is so important. If you look at the smoke dash from above, you can see that you're able to exit the smoke from anywhere which ultimately leaves your enemies completely distracted with your potential whereabouts. And when pairing this with a second smoke, you can actually draw your enemies away from the choke point for a total of 8 seconds. So, 9 times out of 10, you can actually either buy enough time for your team to push, or for you to get the opening pick. However, with the recent jet nerf toning down jet players to only having 2 smokes, this means that you have to be more decisive when using them. So the way I like to think about this is if I need to smoke off one of the choke points and use another to dash into, or to simply use both the smokes to play around. And honestly, this is literally going to depend on your team comp. For example, if you have a brimstone, he'll probably most likely smoke the choke points off anyway, but if you have a controller like Viper, you might have to smoke off some of the choke points yourself. This can actually vary on maps as well so now i'm going to show you some of my favorite entry paths just so you get an idea of how to use a smoke dash okay so the first map i'm going to show you some entry paths on is ascent because there's quite a few different variations you can do however before we get into that i just want to say one thing you must do when you dash so this is what you don't want to do a lot of jet players just seem to just dash into the smoke without checking the left or right side and basically if you check the right side here for example as you dash you can actually clear this area as you push into the smoke. And let's say you couldn't actually quite catch the guy on the right side when you dashed in with your own eyes. If they appear for just one single frame, they will actually be indicated on the map, so your team will know and you will also know as well. So when you play in jet and going hyper aggressive, don't be afraid to be a human recon drone as well. Anyway, now for the entry paths on A site. My preferred route is to throw a smoke on top of Jen and dash into it. The reason why is you can either play around with your smokes here, Drop behind Jen left side, drop on the right side to peek this guy here, or as well you can also save that second smoke and jump into heaven as well. And honestly you can easily catch people off here, for example Sovers setting up the darts like Jonas. And if you look at it from a defender's point of view, let's say there's a smoke here, you hear a jet dash up here, you're going to have no idea and basically your crosshair placement is going to be so far off. If anyone pushes close left, you're pretty much dead. But honestly, at the end of the day, you can still get away with doing a normal smoke dash, as you can go here, check the right side, and then peek out on the left. And doing this will leave you with one more smoke, so what I like to do is actually throw the smoke under the heaven sight, and then this gives you a headshot angle, which people don't normally expect. Moving towards B site, you have three different options. You can either do a smoke dash into market, one down the middle of the site, or one straight over the boathouse onto site. And honestly, since you have so many different variations, the market one, for example, goes like this. And people don't actually expect you to be fully pushing through here and holding W down. The one for site, however, is a little bit more boring. It's just basically dashing into this area here. 
and essentially smoke training yourself. So you can either go through into CT or kill the guy backside here. You can also give yourself a smoke on site by doing this and then dashing into it. This will just make you a little bit more safe as you push onto site. Okay, so essentially smoke dashes are very self-explanatory. So what I'm going to do now is show the different ways you can play around them. So, for example, let's smoke the top of this tube here. Check the left side, obviously, as we dash in. We can then use another smoke to either peek the left side or we can go and peek the right side here. So it's just showing that we've got multiple different options. But let's say if the enemies also then start to read your plays. Throw the smoke towards the right side of it and then dash underneath the tube. They are going to think you're on the top of the tube, so you can sneak into the tube now. And then either get them from underneath and surprise them. So my number one tip for entry paths is don't be predictable. Let's just say we smoke dash into lamps. Let's say it's worked three times. They could end up stacking two players towards this or hold off angles here. So what you can do is you can smoke off lamps and pretend that you're dashing towards it, but instead move towards site. The main attention will be focused towards this lamps area. And let's just say we do a smoke here. We can continue to sneak through, and this has worked numerous times, and I've actually got behind people by literally pressing W the entire time. Just keep in mind, though, and I did say it earlier, be careful when you're pushing through. It's a very risky play because, obviously, you can't get traded if you die here. If you do find yourself in a situation where you have one more spare smoke on hand, using one ways can prove valuable since enemies tend to walk up towards jet smokes more than others. And I think this is because players don't actually expect jets to do one ways. And honestly, this is extremely easy and you can do on almost any wall. You just simply position your smoke halfway up the wall and it'll block the enemy's line of sight resulting in a potential free kill as long as it's timed correctly. But keep in mind that the smoke only lasts 4 seconds now, so the timing is a lot harder than what it used to be. Now moving on to Jet's ultimate ability. With the most recent nerf, you now have to decide whether you want to left click for the refresh or right click for the entry. And honestly, I wouldn't call it a crazy nerf, because at the end of the day, none of us are Korean Jet. But this leaves you with having to make split-second decisions on how you want to play around your ultimate. And honestly, the best way to think about it is based on economy or entries. So in terms of economy, for example, if all your team can afford guns and you can't, so you just have an ultimate, don't be afraid just to right-click, get the entry, pick up their gun, and then join your team with a Vandal in hand. And that ties very similar to wanting to get the opening entry. This is obviously going to vary depending on distance, but if you do find yourself up close with an enemy, just honestly right click the guy, pick up his gun, and then just use a vandal. Because at the end of the day, none of us are just right clicking everyone. So let's just go back to the vandal and just hopefully get some clean kills. Going for the right click is going to be a lot easier than trying to left click the guy up close and go for the headshot. And if you do find yourself at range, it's a no brainer to left click and try to get the refresh. Since I'm not going to lie, the RNG gods are never normally in our favor for the across map right click. However, if you do want to practice with the ultimate and try and prove with it, the biggest tip I can say is don't be afraid to body shot. This is because you can move freely and shoot with the jet knives in comparison to other guns. So you've only got to hit them three times to secure the kill as you run around like a Ferrari. Another thing I would practice in the range though is to try hit jet knives whilst updrafting and dashing around. So you become more fluid with your jet movement and take advantage of the ability to fully move with those goddamn knives. The reason why people associate jet with being able to top frag is because of her get out of jail free card, her dash. And keeping this in mind is very important to how you utilize this when you position. And that's why I'm going to talk about positioning now. Personally, when starting off rounds, you can aggressively peek areas, keeping in mind that you can dash away if there's enemies there, resulting in a lot of info for your team. And we all know Ferrari peeking is ridiculously strong in this game, so you may actually get a kill or two whilst doing so. So honestly, I'm begging you not to be that insta-lock jet who just doesn't say a word, as Jet can give the team so much info. Another way I like to position with Jet is to create off angles. And the reason why this is an off angle is because the enemy's crosshair placement isn't likely going to be there, resulting in you either getting the kill or dashing out with all the info. Okay, so now I'm going to give you an idea on how to play Jet, especially with an operator. So let's say they don't come A main here, and you are playing with a teammate on A ramps. What you can do is, you can start to fall back to screens, and you can tell your teammate to go help mid or B since it's most likely going to be there. And what I like to do is, since I've still got the dash available, is to play this off angle on the left side and then dash to the right for safety. 
And the reason why I like to play this so much is because it essentially frees up the guy who normally plays here to go reinforce mid and B. So this means that you're more likely going to be able to hold down B site. But also if they do come towards A, you can either give the info that they've crossed, smoked you off, or you can get that opening pick here. One thing a lot of Valorant players don't do is they always go hyper aggressive because they want to get the frags. However, don't be afraid to go for retakes. So let's say you get smoked off here. What I like to do then is probably fall towards heaven since there's a better angle with the operator. And then at the end of the day, they're not going to have smokes for the entire round. So you will be eventually able to get an angle from here. So that's my number one tip for when using an operator as jet. But you can also do these stupid peaks like I'm doing now and then just dash away after doing so. But at the end of the day, get creative with jet's toolkit as it can allow you to up for many different angles. So for example, you can up A short and bind from here. From up here... Or even actually over here as well. You can hold this angle and then once you shoot, you can dash and go over this box like so. So there we have it. That's my jet guide in hopes of turning you into a jet demon. Honestly, jet isn't the most complicated character in the world, so there's not much to it. But I do have one thing. If this video did help you out, it would mean the world to me if you could help me out. And that's to boost my most recent jet montage here. I don't think it quite hit the alg or sub boxes by the looks of it. And I was pretty happy with the outcome. So yeah, be sure to leave a like on this video and that video as well if you can. And come learn some whiffs live on my Twitch. That was clean.